Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. A little bit ago I released a trailer for something called Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion, and I released it without any real explanation for what the hell that is, so today I want to talk about what the hell that is. First, what I'd like to do is talk about where the idea came from and mention a few people that were critical in having it happen. Uh, I got the idea about a year ago when I was listening to an audiobook that was posted by someone, I wrote their name down, Biza Riza Guza. I always forget that. Biza Riza Guza. Uh, they're a great YouTuber, they've got a prepping channel, and they, they're a great writer. They, they wrote a book and they released it as an audiobook on their channel. It's about an EMP attack. I'd highly recommend you check it out. It's really engaging, really, really well written, and uh, you learn a lot from it. Uh, as I was listening to that, I thought, wow, this is just a great way of sharing sort of uh, prepping ideas, is in this sort of narrative story approach. Also, Full Spectrum Survival has started doing some movies, uh, little mini movies and things like that. And uh, I just think it's a great way of, um, of sharing ideas. And it I, made me think, you know, what could I do like that? One thing that I feel as a whole in the uh, sort of uh, the offerings of prepping channels that make films is alien stuff. Uh, I, I've always loved alien movies. The movie can be, still be pretty bad and I'll enjoy it if there's aliens in it. Oh, thank you, sir. I, I don't know if I could have kept my sanity to be here another five cycles. We decided to keep you here for another 50 cycles. With endless options for renew, with endless options for renew, with endless options for renew. Um, and I thought that would be a great thing to do uh, because it's something new and fresh and I find it exciting. Uh, I think there's not a lot of it out there because it's, you know, not everybody can make alien ships and alien technology. It takes the ability to do special effects. And that's my day job, is I do special effects, I'm a cinematographer, and I was thinking, you know, if anyone's going to do that, you're probably the person to do it. The only problem with it is just revenue. Uh, I know that and because it's my job, I know how much time it takes to make these things. Uh, this practice prepping channel is my hobby. It's obviously not my full-time job. As a single parent, I need to focus on you know, making sure there's you know, food on the table and, and all that, and knowing how much time would need to go into making you know, a series of alien invasion movies, uh, I knew I just couldn't legitimize that and you know, still be a responsible parent uh, you know, to my boy. Uh, but then my subscriber base started to grow a little bit, and I started thinking, well, you know, maybe, maybe with ad revenue, maybe I, 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 there would be an opportunity to make that and be able to, you know, legitimize it by you know, having, uh, getting some revenue off of the time that I'm putting into it. And then Savage Survival uh, suggested to me that if I opened a Patreon account, that they'd be my first supporter. Now, I'd always been reticent to get into Patreon because, well, you know the way, you know, Whenever someone opens up a Patreon account on YouTube, the next thing, the next day they have a video on this, them doing something along these lines. Hey YouTube, I know I've been doing this channel for free for a while, but I just opened up a Patreon account and my time is worth something, so I think if you get value out of what I'm doing here for free, you need to compensate me for that. So you need to go to Patreon and you need to do some money yeah, all that stuff may be true, but you still come off sounding like an asshole. So I was really reticent to go down that road, but I started the account and, you know, thought about it a little bit. But I was still really, you know, iffy about whether or not I'd be able to, you know, get enough revenue to really, you know, pay for the amount of time it would take to do this series. But then, uh, Canadian Prepper suggested that he wanted to do a shout out to my channel. Canadian Prepper, one of my YouTube heroes, got like 100,000 subscribers. Well, he's not my hero because of his subscribing base. He's, he's just, he's got a great channel. I've been following him for a while. And um, in fact, my first video ever was a, a VR response to one of his videos. I saw a, a video from Canadian Prepper, who's awesome. Um, and uh, he, it was about cement, concrete, that sort of thing. When I found out that he might be thinking about doing a shout out to my channel, I'm thinking, well, you know, between Patreon and maybe getting some more ad revenue for more, more interest in the channel, maybe it can work. So I stuck my neck out there. I did five episodes and the trailer that you saw. And my hope is you build it and they will come. So what is Alien Invasion? Uh, 
well, essentially it is about an alien invasion. It's a series of narrative short films uh, that are all done from the perspective of a prepper living in the woods, myself. Uh, that makes it a little different than a lot of Hollywood movies, because a lot of Hollywood movies kind of take an omniscient view of an alien invasion. The camera and story are jumping all over the planet, even up into outer space, but that's not the way that it feels if you're actually in a collapse or an SHGF situation. When you're in that situation yourself, you have only your own perspective, and you oftentimes have an information deficit. And... what is that? I don't... that's not fighter jets. A new noise. Let's go check it out. Every day is so exciting now. This is awesome. Except not at all. So I wanted to kind of create that feeling of not necessarily knowing what's going on all the time. Now that said, there's going to be lots of alien ships, lots of alien technology. There's going to be action and excitement and all that. But I also want to keep the whole thing very real. In addition to that, I want to make sure that every episode has some real core sort of prepping uh, tips and knowledge in there, even if it's just kind of going over something and thinking, uh, you know, the character thinking to himself, oh, you know, this didn't work out because you know, I, I should have pre prepped this, or I, you know, I wish I had that, or whatever. I, I want to make sure that each episode is sort of relevant to prepping to get people thinking. I want the, each episode to be at least somewhat thought-provoking uh, and not just, you know, entertainment sort of fluff that type of material. I mentioned that I shot the first five episodes. I'll probably shoot at least a couple more. Uh, and if the Patreon model is able to create some sort of support, then I'll be able to continue and keep the series going forward past, you know, five, six, seven, eight episodes or so. I have an idea for where I'd love to see the story go. I've got some exciting concepts in there, some exciting special effects that I, I'd, I'd love to work in there. Um, but it, it all just matters. It depends on whether or not I can do it without starving my family and everything. So if you are able to offer even just, you know, pledge of $1 support down below, uh, there's a link to the Patreon account. That'd be great. I have rewards available for people uh, to, uh, you know, help entice you. Uh, there's uh, um, uh, some exclusive content that I'm offering on there, behind the scenes material. Uh, but if you were able to partner with me and you do that part and I do the production part, I think we can do something really exciting and fun and also get this out to a broader audience as well. And I think the more that prepping can be popularized and spread out to everyone, the better it is for er for all of us, really, because, I mean, if, if you are in a community where you're surrounded by preppers, how much better off are you going to be than if you're in a community surrounded by people that you know are going to turn into hungry, starving, desperate people, when, you know, if and when the shit ever hits the fan? It's good to spread this stuff out to as many people as possible. It makes our whole society more uh, ruggedized, if we can do it that way. Uh, also, if you're able to support uh, me on Patreon at a certain level, I'm legally obligated to thank you on camera, and one person already has. Thank you, Hupple's Cat. You've been a great supporter through comments for quite a while. Thank you for your financial support on Patreon. Between you and the other people, hopefully we can keep things moving forward and uh, keep the series going, but I really appreciate your support there. And I suppose also I have one other supporter. <laughs> I have three supporters on Patreon right now. It's only one I haven't thanked. Thank you, John, for your, your support there as well. So the series is going to come out in December, December 1st. I'm excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, please consider uh, offering some support below. Anything helps, pooled with other people's uh, support. Hopefully we can keep the thing going forward and uh, make something that uh, will be really entertaining and really uh, thought-provoking for lots of people. So that's it. Thanks a lot. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Unidentified aircraft have been confirmed in the skies over Los Angeles, Los Alamos, New York, Boston, and other locations. The origin of these aircraft is suspected to be extraterrestrial. The intention of these beings is unknown. Extreme caution is advised. This is not a test. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.